Vega for her speech, CC4, entitled Malignant Neoplasia. And yes, good evening to you all again. Good evening. Now, since my speaker in particular didn't complete her speech, I will just give her a few tips on what to do to decrease her nervousness while standing in front of and trying to deliver her speech. First one is you can still use your notes. I still use my notes until my fourth, my fifth speech. So you just. For safety, this helps any speaker who's always nervous. For safety, put it here when you're speaking, or here when you're speaking. This will give you confidence, and like you can actually see it from here. This will give you more confidence to speak, because you know that you have a safety net that you can always go back to. You can see, you're still allowed to use your notes. We tell you less in it, but if you need it, in order to finish your speech, just try it. Because I know you're, uh, my speaker is a very nervous person, so at the moment she stands here, everything's gone. So, so for your sake, this will help you get used to the audience, so you can look back. And then once you're done with the nervousness, in the middle of your speech, you're okay if you go through it. Number two is choose a topic that you love. Because if you, you, the first four projects, are one of the easiest. You can speak about anything, absolutely anything. No restrictions, well, except for the usual politics restriction and other stuff like that. But you can use it. You can use this opportunity. Trust me, I am regretting not using my four speeches to say anything I liked. Because after a fifth project, you have to start restricting your topics. So do it. Do it, pick a topic that you love, so when you're here, even if you forget the words, you can still say something. If you know what I mean. Because right, your topic was about cancer. So it was difficult to think about, unless you know who cancer is really well. Do you know who cancer is really well? <laughs> exactly. Number two is um, use simple English. Message. Anything. Use simple. It, I know your, your, your first language isn't English. It's probably your third or fourth language. Okay. But, Use as simple English as possible. You don't need to impress us. You don't. Use the words you know. You don't need to go out look until you are completely ready. Especially when speaking in front of people. Use simple words. So that way you know what you're talking about and people will know how clear your, your, your message is clear. Number, yeah. The last one I have to say is, this is what I do when I'm doing big speeches in front of like of people or in general small groups. When I come in, I walk, I look at the audience, get to know the audience, wait for them to settle down, and then breathe, collect your thoughts, and then speak. This will help you with your nervousness a lot. I know, you're here, you're shaking. So this will help you a lot, and make sure to use this part of the space. <laughs> so those are the things. I'll give you this paper. Choose your favorite topic. Use simple English. Stare at your audience. Read. Take your time so you can control your nervousness. I think I said something else, but yes, these are the main points. And that is all. Thank you. Thank you, General Valerie. Thank you, Toastmaster Nejda. Now before I continue, Timer, can you please give me the time for our speakers? And table conference. And table conference. Good evening again. For the prepared speeches, Toastmaster Table, 4 minutes and 27 seconds. Mm -hmm. Toastmaster Ibrahim, 7 minutes and 29 seconds. Toastmaster Rafaya, 13 minutes and 18 seconds. So, just Toastmaster Rafaya is disqualified. And the table topics session, Toastmaster Daphne, 2 minutes. 
Guest Mahmoud, two minutes and four seconds. Toastmaster Hassan, one minute and 34 seconds. Toastmaster Nada, two minutes and two, 20 seconds. So nobody's disqualified because of this session. Thank you. Everyone, please vote for table topics and for for speakers. Are we voting for speakers still? Because only your pair is qualified? Only your pair is qualified, right? For, please vote for speakers, which is Toastmaster Taylor and Toastmaster Abraham, and table topic speakers. <coughs> Meantime, can I please call on our second evaluator, Nitya Ahmed Bibi, to evaluate Toastmaster Ibrahim Badrano's speech for Project 3? Obedience is not optional. without the notes, without any scripts coming out. Almost it's like an off-the-cuff speech which gives him more confidence and more power and ample usage of words. The speaker synchronized his experiences with his friends where without being obedient, the disasters of while swimming, a person died, and while taking a drive with the stolen car of his friend's father's car, where they ended up without fuel. And all these gave the audience to think, and he persuaded at the end, no matter what it is, whether you like it or not, obedience is optional. Pointing out, even if the red light is there, no matter how fast you want to reach a place, you got to stop. And that point was made very powerfully, persuading all of us. The only recommendation which I would like to give to this speaker is to have little pauses. The speech was little speed. The speech rate, the speed was little higher. If you could reduce and have pauses. It will be a fantastic speaker. Congratulations, speaker, Postmaster Brian. Thank you, DTM Ahmed Bezi. Now, can I call upon Postmaster Fatima Al Attar to <coughs> evaluate Postmaster Oke Abbas's main speech entitled Toys, Friends, or Foes? Postmaster Fatima Al Attar.
Growing up, my parents have provided me with the best toy ever and allowed me to become the awesome person I am. They provided me with a brother. Master of Ceremonies, General Evaluator, Master of Ceremonies, Fellow Toastmasters, and guest, and to my speaker in particular. Good evening. Good evening. Why do we evaluate a speech? <coughs> it is basically to share experience of a person who has done the speech before, so that you can take their feedback and decide whether you want to implement it or not. Okay. With that being said, okay. the experience that I want to share with you, Rukaya, Postmaster Rukaya, is First of all, don't worry, you passed your speech. <laughs> That's not the experience though. And in fact, you use enough visual aids to pass the speech again if you repeated it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the thing that I like, most, I like most about all of your speeches when I hear about them is that they are all always so well rehearsed. They always have a key message and they always have a point to them. You don't leave any stone unturned. And the thing that I liked most about this speech in particular is your PowerPoint presentation. Because for me, when it comes to PowerPoint presentations, I always feel that people make a big mistake using them. Your PowerPoint presentation was really simple. It didn't have words to distract the audience. It had the correct pictures for the correct emotion at the correct time. So, well done on using your PowerPoint presentation. Now, what I would like to share my experience or feedback upon is a few suggestions. The first thing is your body movement. Now, when I say your body movement, I mean when you come up in front and you turn your back to this part of the audience, you are disengaging this, this side of the audience. It's relatively hard to pay attention, especially when you're using a PowerPoint presentation, but I would advise that if you want to move and face this way, just take a step back first and then move this way. The next thing I would advise you not, or try not to do, is to turn and look at your PowerPoint presentation when you're preparing it. We already know that you are so well rehearsed and researched on your topic that you actually don't really need to look at your slides because you probably memorized them. So don't give the audience your back and look at your slides. <coughs> Another point, well, I'm not even gonna mention time because I'm sure you were aware of your time. The, th the third point I would say is visual aids. You can use how many visual aids you want. But if you're gonna use a lot, then you should organize them so that you can just take them easily so that you don't have to search for them. All in all, I look forward to your next speech. I know it's going to be a really exciting one. Thank you.